Oh my God, it started. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Good evening. And a warm welcome to everybody. This is, of course, the closing night of the 12th edition of the Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival 2021. This is, of course, South Asia's largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, asexual, plus plus film festival. And since this is the 12th edition of the film festival, this is, of course, my 12th glass of the night. <laughs> what a year it's been, right? And Kashish has simply put those char chan to our screens. Let's not forget the second wave. Mm. That naughty rascal. Kind of a party pooper, honestly. But regardless of all of those curveballs, I can't believe it, guys. Make some noise. We made it. We're still sitting in isolation in our homes, but woohoo! In case you're at home, please do give us a cheer. And no matter how much we've enjoyed these virtual screenings since last year, nothing really beats the joy of watching these films in the movie theaters. We totally understand. So let's begin with the culmination of this year's Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival. And to first to do the honors, we've got the founder festival director, Sridhar Rangayan, sharing his thoughts with us. So finally, we are here at the closing ceremony of the 12th Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival. I just can't believe it. It's been such an exhilarating journey uh, of 23 days of film festival with 12 days of film screenings and screening 221 films from 53 countries. Let's take a look at the festival trailer with glimpses of some of the films which we have been screening over the last 12 days. Diversity of expression in all these films. Diversity of race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, identities, differently abled, which we're going to see in the closing film tonight. And each of these films have opened a new window and are able to awaken our minds to a different life and different possibilities. We hope that like these films have managed to uh, reach the audiences whom it was intended for the, I'm talking about not just LGBTQ audiences, but mainstream audiences to formulate an understanding of LGBTQ lives. 
we do realize that the, the pandemic is not over yet. And we are really thankful to all the people who participate in the festival, uh, locked on in their own homes, but we gave them a little bit of joy and happiness by sharing our films, which they could watch in their own homes. And we had a participation, not just from Mumbai, but also across India and across the world. And apart from the film screens, we had such wonderful filmmaker q &As. We did 43 of them this year. Uh, from across the world, uh, the filmmakers participated along with the cast and crew uh, in filmmaker q &As, which can be seen online on our YouTube channel. And we had eight fantastic panel discussions where we managed to invite some amazing celebrity guests, not just from India, but also across the world, like Mira Nair, Jonas Gardel, David Petternot, and Ruth Vanita. And we are really thankful to all of them who gave their time, energy, and wisdom to participate in the panel discussions. We are really thankful to all the audience members. And we are really truly thankful to the angel partners, their venture partners, supporting partners, and their award partners who have continued to support Kashish every year and this year too. And more so, we are really happy to have the support of five community partners who helped us uh, unlock with pride and reach audiences which were diverse. And apart from the community partners, we have to definitely thank the moderators of the panel discussions and the hosts of the filmmaker Q&As and the interpreters. And we have to be really thankful to the volunteers uh, who stayed up all night and being vigilant on the festival platform uh, and also the festival team with Rohini Ramnathan, Abra Das, Aaron Dezoza, Duraya Hasta and of course Sagar Gupta, the director of programming, who has beautifully curated 221 films into short film packages uh, which basically kind of brings out the essence of each of these films. So it's a big joint combined effort every year uh, to put the film festival together and we hope that next year we are able to bring an even grander and bigger festival maybe a hybrid festival in liberty cinema and online let's see how that goes thank you so much Peter. what is a closing night without you in fact what is an opening night without you what is the kashish film festival without you once again alone i'm going to give a cheer to shridhar i absolutely love him all right, guys, I must say that this year it's been absolutely fantastic. So much to learn from, from these varied narratives, people of the community, and those enlightening panel discussions. It's been overwhelming. Kashish, of course, is thankful to his partners, angel partner, venture partners, and supporting partners who've supported the festival this year. Let's hear from two of our partners at this point, the Consulate General of the Kingdom of Belgium in Mumbai and at ease. <laughs> My name is Pierre-Emmanuel Bressemans and I'm the Belgian Consul General in Mumbai. It gives me great pleasure that we in Belgium can look back to our track record with a progressive glimmer. Indeed, we were the second country to allow gay marriage in the world and one of the first to legalize homosexuality. This move has ensured that gay people in Belgium have the same marital, adoption and anti-discrimination rights as anybody else. This sentiment is even reflected in Belgium society as my country had one of the first openly gay prime ministers ever, Mr. Elio de Hopo, in 2011. When he was asked by some confrontational journalists if he was gay, he responded, yes, so what? He was the second openly gay man in modern times to lead the government, and the first one to do it or to get his position through an election. It was his belief in the rule of law, one of the tenets of the European Union, which Belgium, of course, abides by, that guaranteed him that his rights and values, irrespective of his sexual preference or orientation, would be protected. Marriage is a hugely important institution in this country, as is in Belgium and worldwide. It is a fundamental cornerstone of the organization of our families and societies, and it is available to all of those above 18 who are prepared to take this commitment. Except, of course, that is, if you happen to love somebody of the same gender. This simply cannot be right. In 2018, the Supreme Court of India decriminalized homosexuality, which was certainly an important step forward. But unfortunately, same-sex couples are still not being able to marry. For me, extending marriage to same-sex couples is all about how society treats its citizens. We are all equal. It will strengthen, not weaken, this vital institution and help ensure that it remains an essential building block of society. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Hi everyone. 
My name is Richa Vashish and my pronouns are she and her. I lead Atis an inclusive mental health platform by Lilac Insights. We cater to cis, trans and non-binary individuals. Uh the services that we offer are individual couples and family therapy and the approaches that we use are trauma informed, queer affirmative, we're very intersectional in our approach and in the kind of work that we do. Super excited to be collaborating with Kashish as a supporting partner this year and engaging in mental health related conversations. If you or anyone you know are experiencing mental health concerns, feel free to reach out to us. Um our our Instagram handle is mental health at ease. Thank you. And now, let's hear from the Kashish community partners what the collaboration meant to them. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Tinish and I'm part of Yaria which is a youth initiative of the Hamsafar Trust. This year Yaria is a proud community partner with Kashish 2021 and uh, I hope you all have enjoyed uh, the films from 53 countries along with the panel discussion uh, because uh, we believe that uh, there is so much to learn from within the community and from our allies so I really hope that you have uh, enjoyed this discussion if you have not then please check out the handles of Kashish you can you know revisit the discussion and learn many more pointers from there From last 16 month we all have been stuck at one place and we really want to get out of our uh, home now and meet each other and see each other in the physical space and I definitely see Kashish as an opportunity for us to meet in the physical space network with the people and that's what you know we really want to do next year so uh, as you know yaria is also about friendship and bonding so let's continue our partnership with Kashish we really hope to continue our partnership with Kashish and uh, really hope to see you soon uh, in the physical space as usual in the grand venue which kashish has every year so we look forward to meet everyone and till that time stay safe stay stay home hi my name is sonal gani and i am the co-founder of umang umang is a support space for lesbians bisexual women and trans masculine persons uh, we are thrilled to be community partners at the 12th mumbai international queer film festival and we welcome you to it We love this festival and we hope you will enjoy it as much as we do. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. I am the founder of Gandhi Nagar Queer Pride. Uh Gandhi Nagar Queer Pride is a is a group of individuals who are working in different capacities to uh create a safe, inclusive and social space in Gandhi Nagar city in Gujarat. Um I'm I'm so excited to share that Gandhi Nagar Queer Pride is a community partner for Kashish 2021. um i i feel so happy to see the kind of submissions and the kind of movies documentaries they have received this year uh they are just phenomenal they are super super amazing and hope to see you in our next pride parades till then be happy and stay safe happy pride a lot happened in march 2020 at the beginning of the month two women held a zine making workshop at a canteen in hyderabad they made an instagram account minutes before it began to document the magic that happens when strangers become collaborators and in the year since the number of strangers has increased exponentially and the two behind this account have become four hi we are zindabad a collective run by queer folks and women committed to creating safe inclusive and accessible zine making spaces we believe in the spirit of zines and of diy self publishing where nobody can tell you what you have to say or how it should look and this year as community partners for kashish we were interested in thinking about inclusivity in the lgbtq community and what we realized is that being queer may bind us but it doesn't homogenize us so what can we do to be mindful of the diverse lived realities of those amongst us within the community You shared your thoughts, experiences, joys, dreams, and worries with us at our workshop, and put it all into submissions for an exclusive bound zine put together at Kashish by us. Find this zine today at Zindabad on Instagram. Hello, my name is Sumit Tawar, and I am founder of the QNet. The QNet is an LGBTQI collective which works with LGBTQI community and marginalized women on their issues and rights. We work in Mumbai, Pune, and Delhi, and we also have our Pan India network. We are extremely proud and delight to be community partner for Kashish uh, Mumbai International Queer Film Festival 2021 virtual. 
Kashish is celebrating cinema with the theme Unlocking with Pride. So let's celebrate cinema this time from August 19 to 5th September. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time right now for our first award. This award is to recognize someone who's done absolute justice to the theme of Kashish's 12th edition, Unlock with pride for which of course we've received tons of entries this year you must have all seen the winning design and that of course goes on year on year to become the official poster for the kashish film festival and if you've seen that you can also get it on a t-shirt make sure that you get your t-shirt immediately the best poster design award carries the kashish golden butterfly trophy and a cash prize of twenty-five thousand rupees supported by the wonderful jerome morell husband of our beloved late Wendell Rodericks. I'd like to invite Jerome to say a few words, of course, and present the award for the best poster design at Kashish 2021. Over to you, Jerome. Good evening to all. Wendell Rodericks has been supporting Kashish International Mumbai Queer Festival since its inception and then decided to sponsor the prize for the best poster design in 2012. For the last eight years of his life, he chose the winning poster, of course involving me and asking my advice and my uh, best design, but ultimately it was his decision and this poster who won. <clears throat> Since he passed away in February 2020, I've been carrying his legacy and selecting the winning artist as well as funding the prize in his name. I truly think that he would have wanted the prize to continue, particularly enhancing his design background. And it is great to celebrate 10 years with the prize fully in his name for his legacy. So we are happy tonight to have selected the winner of the Wendell Rodericks International Poster Design Contest. Thank you so much, Jerome, for continuing Wendell's legacy at the Kashish International Poster Design Contest. And a great job, of course, Ajay Kumar Das. You seem to have found the key to unlock the festival with utmost pride. No wonder, after winning this award in 2016, you won it again this year. All right, guys, moving on right now. It's time we sway to some music tonight because what is a celebration without it, right? We've got Shalmali coming up in just a little bit. And let's... Okay, I'm going to do this alone because I'm just a girl sitting in front of a screen, all dressed up, asking you to woo-hoo. But of course, to start up tonight's celebrations, we've got Aniri Chaudhary, who is a trained classical singer, mother of two lovely doggies, a freelance model, makeup artist, and a learner. Phew, my tad talented, I must say. Give it up for Aniri. Thank you. 
absolutely soulful performance. I must say, thank you so much, Neri, for joining us today. She was, of course, accompanied by Aaron, okay, on that track. Thank you so much for that. We move on now swiftly, ladies, gentlemen, and every gender in the house to the second award of the night, the award for the best student short. We have the beautiful Meghna Gaipuri, President Whistling Woods International, who are award partners here with us at Kashish this year to share her thoughts. Over to you, Meghna. Hi everyone, this is Meghna Gaipuri, President of Whistling Woods International. At the outset, on behalf of everyone at Whistling Woods International, I feel privileged to continue our association with Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival. Even during these challenging and unprecedented times, the energy and creativity brought in by the team at Kashish is unstoppable. Being a one-of-its-kind film festival, it not only aids in enabling aspiring filmmakers to demonstrate their creativity, find their voice, it also spreads awareness about the LGBTQIA community, which I really feel is the need of the hour. I hope this film festival brings about the positivity, sensitization and awareness it aims to create in society. My best wishes to the Kashish team and everyone associated for a successful virtual edition. Thank you so much, Meghna. The student short jury has some of the most noted personalities from the industry. The winner will receive the Kashish Golden Butterfly Trophy alongside a cash prize of 20,000 rupees supported by Whistling Woods International. The respectable jury has inimitable personalities like Dr. Anjali Montero, well-regarded documentary filmmaker, Ketki Pandit, writer, filmmaker, and educator, and Mr. Vivek Baswani, actor, producer, and the man, of course, who famously gave Shah Rukh Khan his big break in Bollywood. Over to the jury now. It's been a wonderful experience being on the jury of the student shots uh, of Kashish 2021. Uh, it was really so heartening to see the range of films, the range of issues, and all of them made with such sensitivity. Uh, it was a learning experience for me uh, to watch all these wonderful films. And I wish the festival all the very best. My heartfelt, heartfelt thanks to the entire team of Kashish and uh, having wonderful juries uh, from whom being the youngest, I could really learn a lot. And um, what the films really uh, said to me, I think, was that, you know, all across the world, across nations and boundaries and um, genders and ages, love is really love. And uh, it was amazing to see how it was captured wonderfully with so many nuances in these student films, in so many different scenarios, and uh, really pitching romantic love uh, against or uh, juxtaposing it with uh, friendships, with uh, our relationships with parents and, uh, um, you know, relationships with religion, neighbors and families and you know each uh, relationship almost reflects one another making each film sort of a kaleidoscope of uh, emotions and that was a very interesting experience for me to um, just just watch uh, this this wonderful spectrum of uh, very sensitive uh, portrayal and to be able to connect with all of them despite uh, you know the so many differences that kind of separate me and the filmmakers. Uh, first, I want to thank Sridhar and Sagar and Avra for letting me be part of this jury. Uh, more than anything else, it was great fun. Uh, being an academician and an educationalist, I get very little time nowadays to actually watch movies. And uh, there was a time when I used to watch a movie a day, uh, then it became a movie a week. Now it's become a movie a fortnight. This gave me an opportunity to enjoy so many movies, sitting down and feeling very happy that this was a job I had to do. So I was not even feeling guilty about bunking classes sometimes and actually watching the movies. All the movies were very sensitive. Uh, I had a wonderful set of uh, co-jury members uh, and uh, it was great fun. And our decision was finally almost unanimous. And when we discussed it, we realized that this was the one film that had to win. Uh, thank you, Sridhar. Thank you, Kashish. And I'm hoping that I am uh, allowed to play a far more active part next year when you get even bigger. Words 
words of wisdom, as they say. So here are the nominations for the student shorts category. To a film that presents a simple incident, filmed with sensitivity and subtlety, where the actors were true to their characters and all of us on the jury are unanimous in our decision that this is a film that looks at queer issues with humanity and compassion, but above all, with truth. We, the student shorts jury of Kashish 2021, are proud to award the best student short award to an Israeli film from the Stephen Tisch School of Film and Television. On a Path, directed by Dihi Lubetkin. Hello to everyone who participated in Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival. To everyone who watched my film, On a Path. And to the jury that awarded the film as the winner of the best student show competition. Thank you for exploring queer culture, accepting queerness, and expressing it in your creative process. I studied cinema because I believe that art makes the world a better place. It makes people understand each other. And this festival is an excellent platform for it. The movie on a path is my first film. And for me, it's as raw and full of passion as the protagonist, Nitsan. The film follows Nitsan's first steps toward the self-sexual discovery a journey full of excitement and pain. I want to thank the jury for giving me this great honor, the actors and the crew who worked so hard creating it with me, and my dear family for standing by my side. Love you, India. Thank you so much. To a film that intercut seamlessly between past and present, weaving a story of coming of age, for not just the protagonist, but also his close friends. A film beautifully shot, well edited, and one which makes good use of music. And a technically well executed film, which also finds immediate connection with its audience. For its sensitive portrayal of friendships over time, we the student shorts jury would like to give a special mention to a French film from the Three Is International Institute of Image and Sound. Today, Directed by Francis Chile. Hello, Kashish 2021. Thank you very much for the special mention. I think all the team and all the actors are going to be thrilled about uh, this great news. Thank you especially to the jury members and to all the people who are taking part in the festival, making this festival live because it's so important for us young filmmakers to be able to show our films and to show our projects. And I'm really happy because this small idea we had uh, two years ago is now a film uh, traveling around the world and uh, receiving a mention. So thank you, Kashish 2021. Also, please, can I say how happy I am? Because we don't have to leave our homes anymore to get to anywhere, to host anything, to stand in queues, to take buses and trains, but damn, I do miss Liberty Cinema, but damn, I do miss the red carpet. I miss the ceremony. I miss the arc lights. I miss the makeup. Actually, thanks to that for getting the makeup and the hair organized this year. Yeah. Uh, anyway, congratulations to the winners and heartfelt thanks to the jury. It feels so elating to win something for the work that you've done. Hours of ideating, sleepless nights, and sometimes overthinking. Hera? But then you also need to loosen up and shake a leg once in a while. On that note, our next performer is a name that is familiar with the fraternity of the performing arts. He needs no introduction. 
But for those who might be living under the proverbial rock, I don't know, in like San Paro or something, he's of course an Indian Latin and ballroom dancer, one of the most eminent choreographers in the Hindi film industry, a radio jockey from my radio station, Radio Nasha. That's amazing. And of course, a TEDx speaker, welcoming the dancer himself along with his partner, actor and model, Sheila Tiruchi witnessed them set this stage on fire with their sizzling moves of a rumba. Sandeep and Sheila, baby, the stage is yours. अभी आंख से गया नहीं रात का नशा अभी आंख से गया नहीं तेरा नशीला बदन बाहों ने छोड़ा नहीं आंखें तो खोली मगर सपना वो तोड़ा नहीं वो वो ही सांसों पे रखा हुआ तेरे होटो का सपना अभी है वही रात का नशा अभी आंख से गया नहीं रात का नशा अभी आंख से गया नहीं गले मिलने के मौसम बड़े होते हैं जन्मों का वादा कोई ये गम बड़े छोटे हैं लंबी से एक रात हो लंबा सा एक दिन मिले बस इतना सा जी न हो मिलन की घड़ी जब मिले हाँ वही वो वही सांसों पे रखा हुआ तेरे होटो का सपना अभी है वही रात का नशा भी आंख से गया नहीं रात का नशा अभी आंख से गया नहीं चल लेती हूँ करवट बदलती हूँ तो सपना बदल लेती हूँ तेरा ख्याल आए तो बल खा के पल जाता है पानी की चादर तले तन मेरा जल जाता है वही वो वही सांसों पे रखा हुआ तेरे सपना अभी है वही रात का नशा भी आंख से गया नहीं रात का नशा अभी आंख से गया नहीं रात का नशा अभी आंख से गया नहीं Rumba, right? As we say in my part of the country, Rumba Nalla. But kabi kabi meri Tamil jo hai, wo bahar a jati hai. It's time, of course, for our third award of the evening. And you know, I must share this with you. It's a secret. Uh, I actually started out wanting to be a documentary filmmaker in the past, and then I understood, of course, the blood, sweat, and sometimes tears that goes into making a documentary film. I chose a, a non-visual medium after I made one film because it's that tough, of course, and I've been doing radio ever since. Uh, seasoned but as well as budding filmmakers, of course, look forward to having their films nominated at the Kashish Film Festival. Let's now call upon the widely respected Aruna Rajay Patil. Chairperson of the KF Patil Charitable Trust, who are award partners for the documentary feature and short categories. Hi, 
everyone. A family trust, Shri KF Patil Charitable Trust, stands for unity in diversity. My father, being a freedom fighter, believed in freedom. Yes, freedom not for some, but for all, for every kind of person with no one left out. It may not be easy for some people to accept those who are different, but then what use is education if you discriminate on the grounds of caste, color, gender, and sexual orientation? How can you even call yourself civilized? Now, cinema is a very powerful medium that connects people instantaneously through its stories. You don't just hear stories, but you experience the highs and lows the characters go through. The challenges they face seem very real to you, and you find emotions that resonate. And you eventually realize that human beings are not all that different as people. Our awards for the documentaries are, for us, an opportunity to promote oneness and inclusivity, a space for every kind of human being. The LGBTQIA plus community has been marginalized for a long time, and what better way to enlighten and educate people than through the medium of cinema? It's important that we be proactive in creating a world that works for everyone. We're happy to partner with Kashish and create a space of live and let live to find a way of being inclusive and celebrate the differences. Thank you, Kashish, for being online in these difficult COVID times and having the festival. Thank you so much, Aruna, for joining us yet again at Kashish. And before we announce the nominees in the two categories, let's call upon the respected members of the documentary jury panel. They are Bina Paul, two times national award winner, film editor, Artistic Director of the International Film Festival of Kerala, India. Gargi Sen, a documentary filmmaker, curator, producer, and distributor. She's a fellow of the Royal Society of Arts, UK, and alongside them, Nandan Saxena, three times national award winner, independent filmmaker, and director of photography with over 40 films to his credit. Wow, what a super accomplished jury. We now invite the documentary jury to share their thoughts with us. It's a great pleasure to have been on the Kashish jury uh, this year. Uh, three of us have had the most amazing time watching a whole variety of films, uh, films that are both challenging in subject and in form. Uh, we've really had, in fact, we've had quite a tough time uh, uh, to choose the best film. Uh, I hope uh, the audience agrees with us. Um, I congratulate Sridhar, Abro, uh, and the entire team for uh, being able to organize this festival in very, very uh, difficult times. Uh, COVID has taken its toll in numerous ways, and uh, it's not easy to, um, you know, get all your forces together and put up a show like this. So congratulations to all of them. Uh, and I hope uh, you've all enjoyed watching the films as much as we have. And now we come to the awards. I was hugely excited when I was invited to be on the Kashish jury because I've attended Kashish in the past and it has just opened up a whole new dimension to me. I, there are things under my nose I'd never seen, but Kashish made me see. And I think Kashish is primarily about love and holding and we saw many such films in this uh, selection and we are very very at least i am deeply grateful for including me in this amazing journey thank you we've been on different juries before international juries national juries but being part of the kashish international film festival jury was a special experience for different reasons you know uh, as a documentarian, you are a chronicler of your times, but still, sometimes there are voices that you have not heard or you have not got a window into people's lives up close and personal. Uh, and this was a special uh, opportunity to do that. And I'm grateful to Kashish for giving us this opportunity because uh, what we witnessed and what we felt were are beyond words. What we learned, I, I don't think one can quantify in words. So we shall eternally be grateful to the filmmakers who brought us those films, telling us those personal stories. And it was such a beautiful experience. And you have widened our horizons. You have opened a new window into 
a world that hitherto was a little bit less known to us. Shukriya. Thank you so much. You know, the winner of Unity and Diversity Best Documentary Short Award will receive the Kashish Golden Butterfly Trophy and a cash award of 15,000 rupees supported by the KF Patel Charitable Trust. Here are the nominees for Documentary Shorts. An extraordinary experience, really extraordinary experience. Witnessing the making of this manifesto, the dismantling of the war machine, and the meeting of visionary architects of this brave new world. The documentary jury is happy to award the KF Patel Unity in Diversity Award for best documentary shot to a film that speaks to the young and cajoles the others to apply for citizenship, the Portuguese short film, Tracing Utopia, directed by Caterina de Souza and Nick Tyson. We are really, really happy and so glad and honored to be to, to with that Tracing Utopia win the prize of the jury. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, and we are really like uh, aiming to, to tell this to, to the teens. Yeah, we can't will... wait to share the news with them. They're going to be, uh, they're gonna be thrilled, uh, especially just that the film uh, has resonated uh, with, uh, with an audience in Mumbai. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, and the jury in Mumbai is amazing. Yeah, and we want to, to thank the jury for that. And we really aim that this, this film could, could reach a wider audience and, and could be like a, um, a message for like the future and, and to help other trans queer youth generation to have you know, like more uh, tolerance and more respect and more hope in the future. Yeah, and we're happy that, the, the, that winning this prize can help to elevate other voices too across India and, and uh, share, uh, share their message. Um, and again, thank you so much to the programmers of Kashish for including our film and for uh, being able to share this beautiful festival with us, um, even though we can't be there in person. Um, yeah, we are in Portugal right now, but we aim to be in the future in Mumbai. Yeah. And in closing, uh, just a, a call to action. Um, trans youth around the world um, live in really difficult conditions, and uh, we need to just do as much as we can to support them um, and advocate uh, for trans youth. Um, uh, and we hope that the film can be, can be a part of sharing that message. So thank you so much again. And yeah, let's contribute to... to, to that uh, to to reinforce the queer utopia of yeah. these teens and yeah. our future. In a kinship pattern that looks down upon diversity, the film celebrates the artist Hiten Noonwal, but also acknowledges the struggles and dilemmas the family goes through to come to terms with this difference. For its deeply understanding nuanced exploration of the courage to be different in society, the jury awards a special mention to the Indian documentary short, Nothing But a Human, directed by Swati Jaitra. Hi, this is Swati Jaiswal, the director and editor of the documentary short, Nothing But a Human. I am highly grateful to Team Kashish for awarding our film as a special jury mention award. Also, I would like to congratulate all my team members who supported me all this while in this journey. Hearty congratulations to all the winners. And before we move on, I must mention that I absolutely love this online film award, you know, night like tonight. You know why? Because no star is late. Everyone's on time because they just have to go onto their computer screens, switch it on and literally say, thank you very much. If you're late for a Zoom call, I think you might have to reevaluate life. But for right now, 
while you do that, let's move on to the documentary feature section. The winner of Unity in Diversity Best Documentary Feature Award, of course, will receive a Kashish Golden Butterfly Trophy and a cash award of rupees 20,000 supported by the KF Patel Charitable Trust. Here are the nominations. A superbly crafted film that uses cinematic technique to bring one close to the lived experience of a character as she grapples with a life-altering decision. For its sensitive handling and intricate exploration of the many layers to a person without intruding, the jury awards the KF Patil Unity in Diversity Award for Best Documentary Feature to the Argentinian film, Canela, directed by Cecilia Del Val. Hi, I'm Cecilia Del Valle and I'm here to thank the award for best documentary for the movie Canela. Uh, I'm truly grateful on behalf of me and my crew members to receive this amazing recognition. Uh, just being part of the festival was an honor, but winning is something else. Thank you very much for the jury members uh, and I'm willing to see everyone in the virtual red carpet. What does it mean to be attacked for your choice while returning home from work? How to build collectives? How to connect and find others in an environment of fear and repression? For a remarkable story of a time, told through collaborations with a huge number of artists across the globe, who have documented the times, the protests, and the performances, and for highlighting the spirit and courage of lesbians of the 80s as a testimony of hope for all humanity. The jury awards a special mention to the documentary feature category to the UK film Rebel Dines, directed by Hari Shanahan and Shaw A. Williams. Hi, I'm Sean Williams, one of the co-directors of Rebel Dykes. Uh, hi, I'm Harry Shanahan, the other one. And um, we'd just like to, to thank you so much. Uh, it was an honor to be selected for Kashish International Film Festival. Uh, it was wonderful to meet Srida and Sonal when, when we had our, uh, our Q&A. And um, yeah, it's just so exciting to us that our film, our first film <laughs> that we made, <laughs> DIY, is being enjoyed by people as far away as India. So um, yeah, we just thank you and thank you to the jury for our special mention. It, it means yeah. a great deal to us. Yeah, thank you, especially to the, the jury members for for noticing what we were trying to do with the film and for seeing that it can provide a lot of hope for you know um, activism in countries across the world and for the queer youth to, to know that there was a path laid out before us. Yeah, congratulations to everyone who's shown their films at uh, Kashish International Film Festival. And uh, we have to give a special thanks to our producer, Siobhan, one of the original Rebel Dykes who uh, got us involved in this project in the first place and has worked incredibly hard. Um, yeah, so uh, love and solidarity to all of our queer family uh, at Kashish Film Festival and across India. Uh, thank you so much. It's a great honor and we really appreciate it. Congratulations to the winners once again and a bunch of thanks to our jury. Just when you think it's time to unwind with some bit of music, I already have something amazing lined up for you all very, very, very proudly. I can totally feel the love that you're sending me right now, but you know what? You want to share this love. What's the point if you're just thinking about loving me? Hello? Now, I'm not saying you need to make declarations on Facebook at this point. Maybe you can dedicate a status message to me. Yes, people have done that in the past to get my attention, tag me, but I don't need it. This festival needs it, all right? So if you're watching us right now, I want you to do this for us. I want you to share 
okay, this very video on your feeds, or I just tell your friends and your family to join in so that lots of people around the globe can start joining us and know what a wonderful festival the Kashish Film Festival is. Coming up is a performance that has enthralled many at the opening night of Kashish this year. And guess what? He's back with the beats, the whistles, and the rhythmic claps to blow our minds. MX Tayano is a music producer, songwriter, mix and master engineer, and a vocalist. Known for his impeccable a cappella skills, the performance for tonight is an a cappella mashup of popular queen anthems throughout the ages. I love it. This is how gay we should be tonight. This is amazing. Ranging from hits back in the day, including I Will Survive. Okay, I can't sing. I can't sing. Okay, that's by Gloria, of course. And to the pop songs of today, like Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Mind you, this mashup does not include any of those instruments that you might think might be necessary for the rendering of these numbers. What's going to happen then? All of these voices, hold your breath, are going to be generated by him and him alone. This is going to be quite something, guys. Take it away. Somebody to love, and anybody finds me. Baby, I was born to survive. How amazing was that? Like, boom, boom. I can't even do that. I can't even try. I'm going to start practicing right now. And you guys come back and check back with me in December. Maybe. Maybe I'll get it then. But moving on, let's talk about something very special to us at Kashish. Year after year, Kashish commends and awards the most promising and upcoming Indian filmmaker to motivate them in their journey. 
the Riyadh Wadia Award for the Best Emerging Indian Filmmaker was instituted in 2011 in the memory of late filmmaker Riyadh Wadia, who made India's first gay film, Bomb Gay, in 1996. The award, of course, carries a certificate, the Kashish Golden Butterfly Trophy, and a cash prize of 25,000 rupees supported by Wadia Movie Tone, one of the pioneering Indian production companies established way back in 1933. We have with us Roy Vadia, Riyadh Vadia's brother, who is the director of Vadia Movie Tone, the award partner. Thank you so much for being with us, Roy. Let's hear from you. Hi, this is Roy Vadia. I just wanted to say that for the last 11 years, it's been wonderful for us at Vadia Movie Tone to be able to sponsor the Riyadh Wadia Prize for the Best New Indian Filmmaker at the uh, Kashish Film Festival. We are so proud to be able to support this because Riyadh Wadia himself was a pioneering trailblazer when it came to LGBTIQ rights combined with filmmaking. In his short life, he has such a huge impact and it is this impact that in turn has been able to feed into the spirit that helped start the uh, Kashish Festival. So we uh, truly commend Sridhar, Sagar, and the entire team for their amazing festival, amazing efforts, the way that they have helped build a community through the arts. And we truly wish them all the very best in the years ahead. And we will be with them every step of the way, supporting this prize and the festival. Thank you so much. <laughs> And the nominees for the Riyadh Badia Award for the Best Emerging Indian Filmmaker are On the surface, it's a simple story of two women of completely different backgrounds connecting in our online world, with the possibility that they will soon meet in person to explore their compatibility in actual life. Beneath this deceptively straightforward storyline, however, lie multiple stories of the India of today, social, economic, political, and India where egalitarianism and sexual identity and rights are juxtaposed uneasily against an age-old backdrop of inequality and prejudice. Yet ultimately, it's a film and a story that offer more than a glimmer of hope, something we so badly need more than ever in the world of today. It is a pleasure, therefore, to bestow this year's Riyadh Wadia Award for Best Film by a New Indian Filmmaker to Begum Parvati from the filmmaker Radhika Prasitha. Congratulations and may you go from strength to strength. Hi, this is Radhika Prasitha. I'm really, really thrilled and honored to receive this award for our film Begum Parvati. I'd like to thank the jury, Mr. Roy Vadia, for instituting this prestigious award that supports and encourages debut filmmakers telling queer stories. I would also like to thank Kashish 2021 for creating this amazing platform. In a discussion that was hosted by Kashish amongst filmmakers who were showing their films this year, I was in awe as I listened to and observed each of them sharing and articulating the ways and the purposes with which they arrived at their stories and their process. This led me to ponder about my own reasons. And I realized I started with a very desperate and selfish reason, which is that as an actor, I wanted to play characters that instilled a sense of hope in me, in the world around me. And even if you start with something that's so personal, 
the film however simple and short it is is much more larger than that right it's much more larger than that initial spark and only when one recognizes that i think you start enjoying the process of it and to kind of like you know set that recognition in my head i needed to work with a team that was in equal amount supportive curious and critical of my intentions and i'm so so grateful to have worked with a team that was exactly that and much more so i would like to share this recognition with my team and i would like to mention them my cinematographer devraj pugrendi actor the beautiful begum kalishwari srinivasan my kutti potent but like super super experienced team am yuvrajan kartik sini and arun arumugam uh an editor cs prem kumar and sound designer anthony bj ruben both of them being veterans in their own respective fields and colorist vivek all of them without whom this simple story could not have been told thank you so much and thank you so much to the audience that what that is watching and supporting our films and congratulations to all the other filmmakers that are showing their films at kashish 2021 thank you so much and i hope we keep making films that make you proud congratulations to the winners we now move on to meet the distinguished narrative jury panel at kashish 2021 This year's jury boasts of stalwarts like Kari Rajinder Soni, programming director of the Bagri Foundation London Indian Film Festival, and he's also the member of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire. How fancy and how nice if you join us, darling. Gauri Shinde, a well-known Indian filmmaker, of course, we all know her with her critically acclaimed Sri Devi star act, English Winglish, with which she made her debut. Uh, moving on, of course, to Ritesh Batra, a BAFTA-nominated director, writer, who is known for his multi-award-winning debut feature, *The Lunchbox*. Satya Rai Nagpal, national award-winning cinematographer, who has been the DOP of several award-winning films, including *Hansel Mehta's Ali Ghar*. He's also a well-known trans activist who has been doing amazing work with his organization *Sampurna*. And of course, joining them is Salvaggio Velo. the founder and festival director of river to river florence indian film festival which has the distinction of being the first international film festival totally devoted to films from and about india let's welcome this amazing jury to speak a few words about their experiences while of course during at kashish 2021 So it's been great to be part of the narrative jury uh, this year at Kashish International Film Festival and to see so many amazing films both from India and from around the world and uh, it's been really high quality a very tough choices to make uh, and uh, it's been great to share those tough choices with some really excellent uh, jury members uh, and we wish you all the very best of viewing and uh, to the all the filmmakers that took place uh, took part in this thank you very much for being part of it I'd like to uh, say a special thanks to Shridhar for um, persisting, um, you know, uh, being persistent to get me on the jury for some years, and I'm like really regretting why I haven't been here earlier. And I would really like to be watching all these films and be part of this festival, even if it's as an audience, even in the future. I think um, the respect it has given to a section of the community that. has required it and still continues to require i think it's giving it the perfect platform it has soul and uh, it's relating to the rest of the world the rest of the human race in a way that um, uh, we can connect with it at a very human level and it's very very important so uh, festivals like these are critical and uh, it's not just another festival because it's extremely important to have this platform and um, i'm actually very proud and very honored to be part of it and i wish kashish all the very best for now for the future and all the filmmakers that um, you know send their films into this and i hope it's watched and watched and watched well it was a, it was a real uh, pleasure for me and an honor to be part of this jury uh, to watch these amazing films one um and and to discuss them with with such an amazing group of people um 
it it also came at a time when we were all you know in in uh, our own worlds uh, uh, locked up or in lockdowns and lock-ins. Uh, so it was a real window. It was a real window to what people are thinking and and the work they are doing. And um, it was really invigorating for me. Uh, it was it was really something that I drew a lot from. Every opportunity to represent the transmasculine community, given its sheer diversity, is both a privilege and a huge responsibility. I was therefore both delighted and nervous to receive this invitation from Kashish to be part of the narrative jury in this edition. In my double bill role as both a transmasculine person as well as a cinematographer. Any jury process is a tough one and so was this. But what has been unique about this edition is that it breached the very traditional model of who constitutes the jury. As we all know, world over the practice has been that it is constituted by directors and actors. However, the discourse of cinema and the actual experience of filmmaking bears witness to the collaborative authorship that it is a result of. But somehow in our film festivals, this hardly finds reflection. With this edition, Kashish has taken the bold step of inviting a cinema practitioner who is not a director or an actor. And I hope that this opening will give way to the participation of screenplay writers, sound designers, editors, production designers, producers, in fact, the entire gamut of filmmakers in specializations other than direction and acting, especially those from our own queer communities. I wish the festival great success and I hope that it's soon back to its previous glory of being held in theaters where the queer communities and its allies can come together and celebrate once again. Hello, it has been a real honor and an absolute pleasure to be on the jury of the Kashish Film Festival. Uh, so thank you very much for inviting me and lovely having our talks on the films, on the movies that were partly from India, others were international, short films, features, of course, with a very specific focus. And, but it is always very nice to, you know, to speak and to be open-minded and to see stories that talk about important topics. And I must thank again the festival organizers for inviting me and my member juries that were with me on the jury for participating to all our meetings. And we were actually um, in many parts of the world because I'm in Italy, someone was uh, in the UK, others were in India. So also this was quite uh, extraordinary how, although we are in this complicated moment of the world, but technology helps us to in some way keep together. But I really hope we can go back to seeing each other physically and doing a proper jury meeting all in the same room in the same country. Thank you. I just want to say cheers, Kashish. I mean, how did you pull off that jury? I mean, seriously, I mean, good on you guys, really going from strength to strength every year. The first award in this section is Best International Narrative Short Award. The winner will walk away with the Kashish Golden Butterfly Trophy and a cash award of 20,000 rupees supported by the Kashish Arts Foundation. Here are the nominees for International Narrative Shorts. story that offered a rare positive representation of a young queer adult coping in a village environment and their struggle in the face of homophobia. The twist in the plot where the protagonist child becomes one of the attackers of another's sexuality and difference. 
for its excellent costume design, cinematography, and the beautiful and believable performances of all the cast members, especially the young protagonist, who's a talent to watch out for. The narrative jury is delighted to award Best International Narrative Short to the Macedonian short film Snake, directed by Andre Volkashin. Hi everyone at Kashish. I'm really excited and happy beyond words uh, for winning the Best International Narrative Short Award. And I would like to thank, thank the jury for recognizing the, the, the sincerity and love that we put in our film. And I must say that I was really nervous when I uh, realized that this kind of film I have to shoot in rural Macedonia, where we need to start talking about uh, our fear of everything that is different from what we immediately know and understand and start opening our hearts to, to differences and to embrace the fact that the world is going to be more beautiful and colorful if we are more diverse and more beautiful and colorful. So um, this is why I dedicate this award to the children from southeastern Macedonia where we shot the snake and uh, to thank them for coming with us on this journey and to their parents as well for having the open mind to understand that this is a film about humanity despite the prejudices that I'm, I believe many of them had. So um, from all of us, from the entire creative theme of Snake, I would like to thank the jury and uh, Kashish, Queer, uh, Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival uh, for this amazing chance and keep up the amazing, so important work that you're doing. Thank you so much. To a film that is brave and path breaking in its very concept. And despite the courageous journey it takes us on, it is enhanced by the simplicity of its narrative. A film that draws you in for the uniqueness of the story, the vulnerability and honesty of the characters. The narrative jury has decided to award a special mention in the international narrative shorts category to the Pakistani film, Stray Dogs Come Out at Night, directed by Hamza Bangash. Hi there, my name is Hamza Bangash and I am the writer and director of Stray Dogs Come Out at Night. Uh, I am over the moon uh, that the jury thought to award our film a special jury mention and uh, just really honored uh, to be playing alongside such amazing films as part of this year's festival. Uh, I'd really like uh, to thank the jury members as well as the festival staff, uh, as well as the supporters of the festival. Uh, you know, now more than ever, we need stories like these to be told. And um, yeah, it's just, it's really so, so amazing to be um, recognized at at the festival and um, I'm really grateful. Thank you. Amazing. It's time now to disclose one of the most coveted awards for the night to choose the best performance in a lead role by an actor, male, female or trans in a lead role, of course, portraying an LGBTQIA plus character in any of the narrative categories must have been nothing less than a Herculean task for this very jury. But I'm sure you're all as excited as I am. Let's wait with bated breath and have the jury announce the best performance in a lead role. This is not an ordinary story. It is about fighting prejudices, about insurmountable conflict and societal acceptance. The tough dynamics and complex emotions required in this role was rare and even more rare to achieve. This actor is given so nuanced a performance, it is par excellence. To navigate this arc of the character and the innocence required for this role, simply extraordinary. Therefore, the narrative jury has decided to award the best performance in a leading role to the real life Brazilian transgender actor, Maria Eduardo Maya in the film Advent of Mary, directed by Vinicius Machado. Hello everyone. I'm Maria Eduardo Maya, actress from Advent of Mary. And I'm so glad to be here. I want to say thank you for the jury members, for my mom who always, always trusts me. 
and for all the other people who trust me when I cannot trust myself. Thank you. This is more one step in my career, one more step in my life, and this always will be my heart. The next award, of course, will be given to best screenplay for this year. In the past two years, Abhay Kolkarni has instituted this award in the memory of his father, a renowned Marathi poet and author, late Dr. Arvind Vaman Kolkarni. His award, of course, carries a cash prize of 15,000 Indian rupees. It will be awarded to the screenplay writer of the best original or adapted screenplay of a narrative feature film or a narrative short film that is part of the competitive categories. Let's hear more about it from the man himself, Abhay Kulkarni. Hi, I'm Abhay Kulkarni. Best Screenplay Award has been instituted in the memory of my father, Dr. Arvinda Baban Kulkarni, who was a renowned poet and author. We truly hope that this award will encourage the scriptwriters to put their best foot forward. This year we have some great submissions. May the best screenplay wins. All the very best to all of you and thanks to Kashish. If there was a film in the long format in this edition of the Kashish Film Festival that was able to keep the facade of cinematic simplicity and through that invitation, make one a part of the complexity of human relationships in a world where the boundaries were so very gently drawn out between the queer and the cis multiverses, it was this film. Not a gesture out of place, not a lens or light that was out of integrity, not a frame that did not advance the narrative in the most subtle manner ahead, not an edit that betrayed the inner rhythms of these worlds. The costumes, the music, the makeup, everything gave us everything. The narrative jury is delighted to award the best screenplay too. For a film from Cyprus, Greece and Italy, The Man with the Answers, written and directed by Stelios Kamitsis. Uh, hi, thank you very much uh, for this honor. Uh, it's a great uh, thrill uh, to receive um, uh, a screenplay award. Uh, this film was years in the making uh, and had the honor and the pleasure of being to a lot of screen seminars uh, to develop the screenplay. Um, so a huge thanks uh, to all the people that uh, help uh, me develop the screenplay, uh, of course the two leading actors and a special thank you to the jury for choosing our film for this award. Thank you very much. You want me, I want you. My sugar boo, I'm like, oh my god, sorry, we're back from the break. Thank you so much. Welcome once again to Kashish. It is closing night. My name is Rohini. And if you want me, my sugar boo, uh, well, all you can do is give me a shout out on Twitter, Instagram. It's Rotox. That's R-O-T-A-L-K-S. The apps that you might find me on are Twitter, Instagram. No, I'm not on any dating apps, at least not right now. Uh, but yes, I think this fellow boy does deserve a shout out. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, coming up is a spectacle not what you watched, but what's actually coming up, waiting to be witnessed. Anyhow, what do we want to remember at this point? You know, as kids, how many of us actually bored our mums the buttas or tried to balance ourselves in our big sisters' stilettos and of course, ramped around in our homes, posing away to glory? Mashugaboo. It's now a dream come true for many in the community today. Our fourth performance tonight is, of course, by Color Positive Foundation, which is an organization that's helping the LGBTQIA plus community make their dreams come true by hosting fashion pageants, plays and events online and on stage around the country. They recently got featured in Brute India for the opportunities they provide to the community and are paving the way forward to inclusion and acceptance. Its mission, of course, is to make the straight fit in the LGBTQIA community and the world and not the other way around. That's exactly how it should be. 
It's the third time that Color Positive is getting featured at the Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival. And despite the pandemic, they've hosted events online and continue to work with those who dream to become models, actors, and more. I hope they will work with me at some point, right? But for right now, all of you watching into your screens, lift those hands and make them jazz because they're going to come and razzle dazzle us tonight. Well, wherever you are, give it up for Color Positive. We all transcended into a fashion show online, wasn't it? Thank you so much once again, Color Positive, and keep up the great work. Moving on, we only have the last two awards for the night and a very, very special performer whose music I absolutely love. So stick around for that. In the meantime, make sure that you're sharing the love on social media, wherever you are. Give us a shout out and tell everybody to tune in to the Kashish International Queer Film Festival's our closing night tonight because the hostess with the mostess is here to make sure you have a great time. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most awaited awards for the night. We now have a well-known filmmaker 
and one of the loudest voices of the Indian LGBTQIA plus community. Onil, who will enlighten us about the next award, which is instituted by his company, Anti-Clock Firms, as award partner. Over to you, Onir. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I hope all of you have been enjoying online the wonderful films that Kashish Film Festival has been presenting throughout the week. Anti-Clock Films has been always nurturing and cherishing new talent and also queer cinema and LGBTQI talent behind and in front of the camera. Anti-Clock Films is very, very proud to be associated with Kashish Film Festival as award partners for Indian Short Narrative. I congratulate all the participants and the winners and looking forward to this association over the next few years. And with that, here are the nominations for Best Indian Narrative Short. in a simple and natural way with both actors sharing the scene in a brilliant performance the best Indian narrative short film goes to Are We There Yet? directed by Bhanu Babal and Kashyap Svaru Hi, my name is Bhanu. I'm the co-writer and co-director of the film Are We There Yet? Uh, I just want to say that we are really honored to be receiving this award. We were honestly pleasantly surprised. Uh, I saw the other films uh, and all of them were kick-ass. Uh, I was grateful that, uh, you know, we had such an amazing crew. And uh, I would really like to thank the jury and Kashish for uh, giving us this platform and opportunity. This really motivates us and boosts our confidence a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, I'm Kashyap Saroop. I'm the co-writer, co-director of Are We There Yet? Uh, which I've made along with uh, my cast and crew, uh, uh, including my co-writer, co-director Bhanu Babbal, um, uh, my uh, lead actors uh, Sharvari Deshpande and uh, Sakhi Gokhale, um, my uh, cinematographer Aditya Desai uh, and uh, our editor Uday Kotecha. Um, um, super grateful to the entire crew and cast. Uh, uh, wanted to thank Majal, our lyricist, who so beautifully uh, summed up the essence of uh, the story in uh, in the words that he's put for the song towards the end. Um, I wanted to thank Nishant Ram Teke for the music and uh, and vocals, uh, and uh, and Ardhra Swaroop and Priya Krishnaswamy for the production design. Uh, this is a small film with a big heart, uh, and. Uh, and what makes us uh, continue to do this is uh, is uh, the love that we receive from uh, the different film festivals and jury members. So uh, super grateful to the jury for uh, uh, choosing our movie. Um, and most importantly, I want to thank uh, my co-competitors uh, for um, you know uh, for giving us the competition uh, to uh, to proudly say that um, you know we made something that's actually quite good. Uh, because I've seen the other movies and they're uh, incredibly moving. So I want to thank uh, my competitors also. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, last but not least, uh, thank you so much Kashish Film Festival for giving a platform to young filmmakers like myself um, and uh, allowing us to shine. Thank you. It's not very often that one gets to witness on our screens the struggle of same-sex heroes in a non-metro Indian context. To a film that lays bare the gender challenges in our mountain communities, where many a times sports is not only the way out to a more hopeful economic future, but also a door out of the very impunity of masculinity, where the protagonist not only chases the opening of such a door, but along the way resists the hardest patriarchal trap of becoming the very enemy you dissent against to recognize the feminine agency that stands triumphant in the midst of the seemingly impossible escape, the narrative jury has decided to award the special mention in the Indian narrative shots category to 
Keep Punching, directed by Kirne Bhatt. Hi, my name is Kirne Bhatt. I'm the writer and director of the film Keep Punching. On behalf of our entire team, I would like to thank the jury for awarding our film a special mention in the Indian Narrative Shorts category. It's truly an honor for us to have our film recognized by such elite filmmakers. Congratulations to all the winners and participants at this year's festival. And finally, a big thank you to everyone at Kashish for allowing us this privilege of having our film showcased at the festival and putting together such a grand event in such trying times. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Deep breaths, everyone, deep breaths. And now, the final award at Kashish 2021. Out of the 21 feature films screened this year, five films are in the competition category. And here are the nominees for Best Narrative Feature. For an unconventional love story, born in an extremely traditional environment, showing that things can be possible against all odds, for a film that elicits beautiful performances from its lead cast, the Kashish 2021 Narrative Jury has decided to award the Best Narrative Feature Award to... The Chilean feature film Forgotten Rose, directed by Nicole Ruiz. Hola, soy Nicole Ruiz Benavides, directora y guionista de La Nave del Olvido, Forgotten Roads. Quiero agradecerle al festival, al jurado, a toda la gente que tuvo la posibilidad de ver mi película y decirles que estoy muy agradecida por este premio que me están otorgando. Quiero decirles que me llena de alegría saber que hay historias que son transversales, que nos atraviesan de manera transversal en el mundo. Me llena de esperanza saber que podemos conectar en base al amor, a la compasión y hablarnos de libertad con cariño. Les quiero dar las gracias, mandarles un beso desde Chile y, y eso. Muchas, muchas gracias. Se los agradezco de todo corazón. Chao. Oh my God! What a ride this has been, right? Are we done yet? There's no one here. It's just me. But here's the deal. We're not done until Shalmali sings, all right? So stick around on Kashish's closing night. My name is Rohini. Thank you so much for joining us. And right now, I'm so, so excited because picture abhi bhi baki hai, dosto. In fact, ek aisi picture, jo banegi, jo big filmmaker ko milega, Q Drishti Grant. Every year, Kashish Arts Foundation invites emerging directors of Indian origin based in India to submit their narrative screenplay focused on LGBTQIA plus lives for the Kashish Q Drishti Film Grant. Supported by Lotus Visual Productions, a production company based in the UK and in India, it is a grant of, hold your breath, I counted, two lakh rupees for the filmmaker to build that dream. This year, the grant was open only to an emerging Indian LGBTQIA plus filmmaker. Let's hear from Neera Churi, founder of Lotus Visual Productions himself. Hello, Kashish team, on another exciting round of the film festival. We at Team Lotus Visual are excited to extend our partnership for another year for the Kashish Q Drishti film grant. Uh, this year, the grant is open to uh, LGBT members of the community to give them an opportunity to tell their stories on their own terms. Uh, we certainly congratulate all those who have been selected uh, for, the, uh, for this grant and I look forward to announcing the winner shortly. Uh, here is our best wishes to all the filmmakers who, despite all the odds, keep on telling these amazing, incredible stories that mimic and mirror life and our struggles of the LGBT community. Once again, thanks everyone. Bye now. Thank you so much, Neeraj. 
we of course received dozens of submissions, guys, out of which five best screenplays were chosen by our pre-jury. Those five filmmakers were called in for a pitching session to the main jury. And finally, one best screenplay has been selected by them. Before we hear from the jury, let me do the honors of introducing them. The jury, of course, comprises of Meera Churi, who I just told you about, Renuka Shahane, a popular actor and filmmaker, Robin Bhatt, screenwriter for more than 100 films, and Urmi Juvekar, documentary filmmaker and screenwriter of two national award-winning films. So this year's uh, Kashish Kudrishti uh, uh, grand judging process was one of the most uh, challenging ones uh, because uh, by the sheer diversity of stories uh, and the filmmakers and the characters, uh, I, I, like every year, people continue telling bolder stories. So it was exciting for us to get uh, to face this kind of challenge. It has been such a pleasure being on the jury of the uh, Kashish Kudrishti uh, film grant. Um, I have always, as an ally, wanted, uh, you know, uh, people from the LGBTQIA plus community to come out and, um, you know, give them, uh, give us uh, their stories. And uh, uh, we had such a diverse range of stories before us. There were just five, but each and every story was talking about a different aspect of the community. And um, each was dealing with very different uh, uh, emotions. And um, it was nice to see um, uh, some of them from regional languages where we don't get to see uh, LGBTQI plus uh, community films. Uh, so I think the reach of uh, Kashish uh, has uh, increased that. And um, I was happy to meet all the directors and uh, um, hear what their dreams were about their films. They were very diverse and it was very difficult for us to choose um, in the process which uh, film should get the grant but I think we did that unanimously of course it was very difficult because all the other uh, participants were also very talented their films are very unique and I would like to see all of them being made first of all I would really like to thank Sridhar and the entire team of Kashish for giving me this chance to uh, look at stories which matter which are different which must be heard and I think all the stories that we uh, sort of came across during this uh, selection were amazing. They talked about various aspects of life. And I would say I'm using the word life quite uh, consciously because it is everybody's life. In some way, uh, listening to these stories, you realize the humanity in all of us that we share in common. It was a very interesting uh, jury process. Uh... Five scripts were shortlisted by the committee and uh, given to us. And we had enough time to go through those scripts. Uh, I went through those scripts uh, three times. One last time today. And uh, yeah, so, and after that, uh, very good thing was that there was a pitch by the every director was supposed to make those films. And uh, that's a novelty. So you come to know what the man is thinking, how you're going to make this film. And that throws more light on the subject that we have read. And uh, it was very helpful. And uh, it gave a lot of understanding and clarity to us. And uh, we all unanimously decided on one particular film, which one that we will tell you about. We were absolutely happy with the winning script. This is the first time we get to see a positive portrayal of a trans uh, man character uh, and then a successful trans man character. That sometimes it's our responses. It's how it all pans out, how we take life uh, or whatever life throws at us. And I found that uh, quietness, that acceptance, and yet not submission uh, in his uh, script. And I think that I found that very charming. I think uh, it was representative of a lot of things 
um, that were very unique to that uh, story. It is a film that is going to be made in Assamese, which is uh, very rare, uh, you know, to get to see uh, like LGBTQI plus community films from the Northeast is very rare. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it had a very complete character arc, story arc, plot arc. It, uh, it, already it was a very complete film and the director's vision also um, to, you know, make it was very, very clear. For the characters, for the relationship, for the novelty in the relationship, novelty of the characters. And... Uh, and director is very clear about what he wants to do with the film. That is the reason. We decided to unanimously award The Caress by Bhargav. And we are really excited uh, to see this story come to the screen. And we wish Bhargav all the best. Hi, I'm Bhargav Dhakar. A big, big thank you to Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival and Kashish QDST Film Grant for presenting me with this award. Thank you, Sidhar Rangayan, sir, for giving me this opportunity. I'm so grateful that my story and screenplay has been able to meet the expectations of the jury members, and I'm thrilled that my story has been able to capture your minds. And I hope that after this film is made, it will capture everyone's heart as well. And through this film, queer love stories will be heard. I'm so looking forward to make this film with all my effort. Thank you so much. That's what I have done. Okay. And if you are listening to this, moral policing, you will say, Parisha, 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 Parisha. I just want to say, Tujhe to meri na til. Okay. You know, I could go on because she has so many fabulous hit numbers. But the, the sort of avatar that you're going to see Shalmali in tonight, exclusively, okay, at Kashish, at closing night, trust me, you've never seen her like this before. She's, of course, rebooted and presented herself in an absolutely refreshing new avatar. She started writing her own songs and she stands and says, I back diversity. What is this all about? Well, we're going to find out with our final performance for tonight. The wonderful Shalmali. Take it away. Are we stuck in a painting with cold paradise out of love? Loss of words to describe how we done being each other, sweetheart. Time to run on our way, miles apart. My words, the ones to you bring the day come down on you like hell. I promise you now. I take a vow, I love you double, I love you double. I promise you now, I take a vow, I love you double. I, I love you double. I hold my breath till I can think of something to say, then what I can learn. Words, won't you say something? So we stay yeah. endlessly into each other's eyes. But all that we get, all that we get. is warm bodies against cold, cold hearts. We nap at the ends of our bed, empty space between us. Yeah. Oh, I promise you now. Take a vow, I love you double, I love you double. I promise you now, I'll take a vow, I love you double. I, I love you double.
going to do a Hindi song for you next. My first independent song. always in my heart wanted to do more uh, with the LGBTQIA community in whatever way possible but I just couldn't understand what way I could contribute and uh, when I came up with my merch just this last month actually this month it's not even been a month um, I felt like this is my way of uh, beginning my work towards this underrepresented community. The fact that Kashish has been around for 12 years doing this absolute amazing work of educating people like me, I will include myself in this, um, is, is just, it's, it's so beautiful and it's absolutely necessary. So I'm really, really happy to be here on this platform and speak about embracing diversity. My emotion when I say I back diversity comes from the point of view of a musician where I'm trying to say that hey I may be known as a playback singer who did a lot of uh, the Bollywood hits that most people have heard but I'm an English singer songwriter and I do Marathi music and there are many colors to me as a musician that I wish and hope and pray that people will accept. So. Uh, the whole idea of this text is to embrace the uniqueness that is within us. To tell people that you don't need to be like someone else in order to be accepted. Thank you once again, Shalmali, and thank you for standing for diversity and backing diversity. I legit have some khushi gyaazu right now because it's time to say goodbye, but my chalice is still not empty. So as I continue to celebrate, okay, sitting right here in my living room, I just want to say, guys, it's amazing that we did pull off another edition of the Kashish Film Festival. But now what do you need to do? You need to nurse the void until the buzz of the next edition of Kashish excites us. In the meantime, I do hope that you're following Kashish on the social media handles, especially the Instagram page, which has some fabulous content, some great chats, some great Insta lives, and all the announcements that you need to know to be part of the Kashish community. Bhai, a smile kar lete hain because we need to cheer for the super duper hardworking volunteers of Kashish because yes, sab na, yes, sab. Ye jo aap dekhte ye, Stanley, Easel, ye sab aise magically appear nahi karta. There is a huge team in place that do such a fabulous job here on year. 
some of them of course i know personally i mean i want to give a big shout out to aaron i want to give a big shout out to sumit uh, divya the script writer sagar shridhar each and every one of you who of course put your heart and soul to make this festival happen so let's join our hands share them and dance away with this beautiful video and hoot our lungs out the kashish volunteers here's me your radio key heroine prohini signing off stay safe get those jabs let's get back in the theaters and of course live life queer size Let us all